Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in JavaScript that is functions. So how to implement these functions in JavaScript? So here we are having uh, built-in functions as well as the user-defined functions. So in this session, we'll talk about the user-defined functions. So how we have to write this user-defined functions and uh, how many ways we can execute this one, right? So first one, these user-defined functions should, should start with a keyword called function, a keyword function. So all the user-defined functions should be starting with a keyword function right and then the syntax for implementing this function is function so this is a keyword followed by the function name so for every function we have to give some a function name followed by the parentheses followed by the parameter list so here we have to pass the parameter list so parameter list and followed by the curly braces it's a block of statements and here the statements so which we need to implement in this function and then the return function return type okay the return function return statement and this is a prototype for implementing any function so the function followed by the function name so this is the keyword okay this is the keyword and this is the identifier so we have to follow the rules uh, while giving this name okay and coming to this parameter list that is an optional so we can give the input for this function in in terms of parameter list here or we can also give the parameter list inside the function right and followed by the statements that is a logic which we want to implement and followed by the return so this is also an optional so if you want to return any value then we have to go with this return statement otherwise we can directly uh, display the output here itself okay inside the function itself now when this function will be executed when this function will be executed so whenever there is a function call whenever there is a function call immediately this function definition will be executed and where we have to write this function call and this function call should be written inside the script okay as well as this is this function definition should also be written in script tag itself script tag itself right so whenever the control executes this one whenever the control finds this function keyword that implies this user defined function should be executed only after the function call so automatically it will go for the next statement after completion of this function definition so immediately here we'll get the function call whenever the control executes this function call automatically it finds for the function definition and this function definition will be executed and the output can be written in a one among the three cases so one is by using uh, inner html so we have seen this one right inner html and then uh, document dot write okay document dot write as well as window dot alert so we also seen this one window dot alert so we have to give the output we have to display the output in one among these three categories okay we have to choose any one among these three in order to display the output and passing the parameter that depends upon the logic so we can pass the parameter from the function call itself so if you are giving any parameters or inputs in the function call that should be reflected in this parameter list in the function definition otherwise simply we can give the input inside the function call also function definition also and also if you want to print the result outside the function you have to use this return statement and that function call should be initialized to some variable and the result of this function definition will be stored in this variable so that we have to display this variable by using one among these three things these three functions inner html or document.write or window.alert right 
so this is how we can implement the functions okay so one thing we have to remember that is so function can be uh, written inside the script and we have already seen in the previous sessions that script tag can be included in inside the head tag or inside the body tag so anywhere we can write the functions anywhere we can write the script tag so inside the script tag we have to write the functions and we have to implement these functions right so this is the prototype once again i'm saying this function user defined functions should start with a function uh, keyword followed by the identifier name parameter list and the statements and the return right so now we'll move on to the computer i will show you i will demonstrate this function how many ways we can implement this function and how, how can we uh, display the output by using this uh, these three things so all these things we'll see by executing a small html code right so let us move on to the computer hello friends so just now we have seen uh, the functions concept in javascript so how to implement that function so every function uh, should start with the function keyword so let's uh, demonstrate that with a small html code so first we'll write the html tags so inside the html i will write the complete function in the script itself right so we can write uh, the javascript in either script tag or a body tag so i will write it in script tag yeah yeah inside the script i will first i will write the function so every function should be starting with the keyword function function followed by some add okay uh, let us take some a comma b or x comma y x comma y and uh, use the uh, curly braces and here we can write the thing document dot write x plus y so x plus y yes so this we have written here and automatically if this function is to be uh, triggered we have to write some function call so for that function call we can write here the function we'll take some variables where some a comma b and initialize some values a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 and uh, write on the function call write add uh, a comma b right so let us save this one with the help of one name some uh, let us take some function dot html so i have saved this one in the desktop so here you can see the file so by double click on this one we'll get the result 30 right so automatically this function call will be so only whenever an event occurs i mean uh, whenever uh, an event occurs or whenever the function call executes then only this function definition will be executed right so this function keyword gives an idea to the javascript that this is a user defined function and the, that's a function definition and it should be executed only when the function call is executed so here you can write sum of two numbers is so that uh, complete content will be here so you can also use the tags here okay you can also use the tags so with the help of tags you can write down here h1 and uh, here you can close uh, h1 see this is how we can write the, this one and uh, so this is uh, the function definition without any return so here we are not writing any return function so directly we are displaying the output but uh, if you want to return some value so here i will initialize the same thing to one variable right so here i will give a b comma sum so sum is equal to a add a comma b so that here we can't write this one so directly we can write the return statement so we'll calculate the addition and we'll just return the addition here x plus y so automatically the result will be stored in sum and after that we can write the result 
document.write so not only by using the document.write we can also use a window.alert or inner html so we have seen a different possibilities how we can uh, display the output on the screen so we can use any one among those three functions right three, three categories so by using document.write or window.alert or inner, inner html but here i'm using just document.write so document.write so you can write some of two numbers is and here we can give the sum because so we are calling the function and the result will be stored in sum so here we are returning the result so automatically sum will be storing the result so if you execute this one so automatically we will get the same thing see sum of two numbers is 30 so here we are returning the result to one variable and that variable will be holding the result so that we can uh, directly display that result here okay this is one this is another way okay so uh, by using the return or directly we can use that one and all these things so instead of writing this one we can also directly call here itself so here here itself we can call the function add of uh, some a comma b okay so if you save this one and if you execute this one so still we'll get the same result right so sum of two numbers is so just will uh, i will change the text okay so addition of two numbers is now you can uh, see the result addition of two numbers so we are not getting any error so we can use the return and that return can be initialized to one variable and that variable will be holding the result and we can print that variable or directly we can use the function inside the output function right and this one so with the help of this parenthesis with the help of this parenthesis we can get the function definition so another way i will show you the another way see i am not uh, initializing here just i am going with sum or uh, simply you can leave it and here itself we can declare the variables a comma x comma y okay and uh, we can also initialize the values x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 20 and see here uh, i will remove this one also these parameters and here also i will remove these parameters so if you execute this one still will get the same result okay still we are getting the same result because here uh, outside the function we are not declaring any variables and we are not passing into the function call directly we are declaring the variables inside the function definition and also we are de defining uh, the values inside the function definition so see if you use these parentheses after this one that gives the function definition that gives the function result if you are not giving these parentheses automatically it will give the function object see so this is a function object this is a function object we have written in the script that will be returned if you are not using the parentheses so this is a not using the parentheses for the function call okay so just i am using some add after that add we are not using any parentheses so that means it will return the function object the complete function object and if you use the parentheses here it will give the function result okay see you can observe the difference addition of two numbers is 30 and, and the absence of this uh, parentheses will get the complete function which we have written in the script tag that's the one main thing okay that's the one main thing and here whenever we are calling about this functions concept so we have to know about the local variables and the global variables and these variables which are declared inside the function will be treated as a local variables this is how we can implement the functions in javascript so hope you understood this functions concept so if you are having any doubts regarding this function implementing the function so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and also uh, if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much